All right, so my wife uh, gave me a challenge to see if I could uh, figure out a way to uh, efficiently uh, be able to take her uh, scan images and upload them into a PowerPoint. Uh, the challenge is that the uh, DICOM viewer, DICOM is the file format used for the uh, images, um, her viewer could only convert one file at a time, and so it was a, a very uh, uh, time-intensive process. Uh, so what I've discovered is a process to do it in batch that will uh, take all your files and convert them to JPEGs and upload them into a PowerPoint deck. So to do this, uh, we need to use a, a picture converter. Uh, I chose to, uh, I found one out on the internet and it made by a young uh, Bosnian guy and it is called uh, Earfan View. So we'll, we'll type that in here, earfanview.com and pull it up. I've actually downloaded it once already, um, so I've kind of uh, inspected it. Of course, I can't make any guarantees um, of uh, what else this might do to your computer, but as far as I can tell, it, it, it seems to be doing what it's supposed to and not doing something else. And uh, we will install it, and we will just undo the top two boxes, and that looks fine. I've already read that and we will associate it with the DICOM format, uh, abbreviated uh, DCM, and just say next, and yes, change that association, and let's not open it at this time because we also have to load in the plugins, and I'm going to load in the 32-bit version since I loaded, downloaded the 32-bit version of the, the application itself. So the plugin has all the different file formats, including the uh, the DICOM format. All right, and that's downloaded. And now we'll install it, and we'll just install it in the default directory there. that's successfully installed. And just one quick thing here. Um, it's okay to use this uh, for um, uh, personal educational uses, uh, so we're within compliance with the license, so there is no cost for it. Um, if you do want to support the, the author, though, and there's a little neat, neat site on him, um, uh, you can, and he, uh, uh, if you want, you can just uh, you do a quick uh, PayPal con um, donation to him uh, if you are so inclined. Now let's move to, to our challenge. So I'm going to Windows Explorer and we have it uh, on a little flash drive here under images. And one of the challenges you see here is that the file has no extension associated with it. It just says file and so the computer doesn't know what to do with it. Uh, what we need to do is associate the, the DICOM extension with it. Uh, to do this we are going to use uh, an old trick. We're going to go to the command prompt this is how we used to operate computers back before Windows, so welcome to the late 1980s, early 1990s. Uh, we need to change the drive to the D drive uh, where my flash is, so I just type in D colon, and then we're going to change the directory to the same directory that uh, these uh, files are stored in. And what I did was I went back to Windows Explorer, I highlight this and it compresses it, and we'll do a control C, which is for copy, and over here we'll do a control V and it pastes in and we'll hit enter and now we're in that images directory. So now we're going to use a command, we're going to rename and we're going to rename all the files, so we'll say star period star or ast actually it's asterisk period asterisk and then we're going to rename it to whatever its name already is but add the DCM extension to the back and we will hit enter and it will do that and as you can see in the background you can see that, that it's actually all the files have been updated and associated with, with, uh, with the DICOM format. So we can go back to our command prompt and just close it. And now let's open this application that we just installed, the Earfan uh, view, which by the way I believe is Earfan's the, the young man's name who made this. And we'll go to File and Batch Conversion. And that will pull this up. We need to direct this to the directory where our uh, images are located. In this case it's the D drive as we mentioned before and it's under images. You notice nothing popped up and that's because it's looking for common graphic files and DICOM is not pretty common. But if we just change this to all files now we can see them and we will say add all into this little input box. 
And then for the batch conversion, we want it to go to JPEG, which it does by default. And we'll click Options. And what we're going to do is we're going to improve the image quality to 100%. Um, it'll still give you a relatively small file, uh, probably about 150K versus the, the, the 3 megs that the images uh, uh, currently are at. Uh, but it should be good enough for PowerPoint. Um, and so we want that maximum image quality. And then default drive, let's output it to that same box. So we just use the current directory, so now it'll default into that D images. And now we'll just say start batch. Click that button. And you can see it's going to each image and it's creating a JPEG uh, for it. Uh, this is a relatively low powered tablet that we're doing it on, so it should work on most uh, all your devices. And we will exit batch and then we will close ear fan. All right, back to Windows Explorer, you can now see that there's a JPEG for uh, each of our uh, files. And these JPEGs we will be able to add to PowerPoint. And see, there you can see uh, they actually look pretty good. Um, so now to quickly add it to PowerPoint, this is kind of a cool trick if you haven't used it before. So we'll go to PowerPoint. And it opens, oops, shoot, didn't mean to do that. I meant to open PowerPoint on my computer. There we go. And we actually want to close this default one that it opens to. And now we're going to use this insert command. And we're going to create a photo album. Okay, so it's a new photo album. We want the pictures from our file or disk. We've got to point this towards where our images are, are located, which in this case is right there, back under images. And it's picking up just the JPEGs, because it's only picking up common file points. To highlight them all at once, um, you can just hit that box right up there. And then say Insert. And yep, that's what we want. And say Create. And boo. There are all your pictures. So just simply um, file save them you know, wherever you want. And in this case, you know, we'll, we'll just put it back into that images directory. We'll hit save. Um, if you need to sort them, um, one of the handy functions to use is the slide sorter function. So that you can kind of move them around as you want. Um, maybe create an appendix to put the ones you don't want in and move ahead the ones that you do want. And you can just move that around. So that's a little function that, that might also be helpful. So hopefully you found this. Uh, more efficient than whatever methodology you're, you're currently using. Uh, feel free to share this uh, uh, with your uh, fellow classmates and uh, every time uh, this uh, video is viewed uh, somebody owes me a favor so it's uh, uh, please view and view often and uh, we'll see how many favors she ends up owing me. So that's it. Uh, good luck and happy scanning.